uh, want to share with you how I created expense tracking system using Integromat and Google Sheets. Uh, so the problem with my tracking systems were that they were not informative. I was putting the information but I didn't see where the money go. So what the category was that and uh, how much money I spent over weeks and over months. So this system, uh, this sheet I created myself and I also implemented a telegram bot here. This is an example bot. Um, so this how it looks in Tegramat. I have a text parser over here that parses the information from telegram message. And here I have two variables on the output. Variable one is the number and variable two is the category. And I put it like this. I put number, it can be float number even, like this. And then I put the category, that can be one word or two words, like, like this. And then let's run it once, process existing. And I have a message that the row was successfully added. Now what I see here is, first of all, I see a new row over here that today I spent 14.99 on eating out. And this information comes from the daily expenses here. Here I can either manually or with telegram, I can put the information here like this, for example, then I put like like this, then it goes over here. And from here it goes to the uh, it splits into into the week, then it splits into the category. So let's say savings. This week, I had 103 euros in savings. So it's this one plus this one. Then I see how much money I spent overall on the week. 168 on this week. And then I see overall in the in the month. And for example, in April, it, that was 702. But that's that's all the, um, the dummy data. So also here I have in uh, Google Sheets, I have uh, months defined, just a simple sheet for months. And then for weeks, uh, here's some sophisticated formula I took from the internet. Didn't really understand how it works, but it works to me. And then over here, I have this formula, some ifs. So what it says basically, um, we take number from B column, then we compare C column, category column with uh, the category name over here with the G1. And then we take date from A column and we see if this date um, in um, inside the uh, inside this span of the week which is taken from weeks sheet from here from start to finish so this is the start date of the week and this is the finish date of the week if it's inside this span so that means that this spending was uh, performed in this week and uh, that means we should put it here and it works with all the same with all the other um, categories and then here is the simple sum function it sums up all the spendings during the week and over here it's also um, takes the span between 
start of the month and the end of the month from from here now for the telegram bot here uh, it's a simple telegram bot um, text parser uh, this regular expressions I uh, created with the regex101.com website I just put it here like this and you should choose the EMCA script over here and with this one you just test uh, any number so float numbers to me work here you see it, it blue and it matches match one and the uh, group name one so if I put these two variables right here and I could run it like this so you see it matches name one is 99 and name two is eating out so this formula this regular expression says just give me any number or float or whatever and put it under name one variable and this one inside these brackets it says just take anything that is not a digit uh, so it takes all the word over here and puts it in a category here I have the drop down list and the drop down list is created with uh, data validation over here um, so you can put range here uh, that can be like this maybe and then you separate with with comma your categories um, then here I have simple formatting of this being currency euros this one is date and the notes is just a simple text um, so that's it um, let me know if you need the more detailed breakdown or if you want to go step by step with me to recreate this expense tracking system uh, thanks a lot bye bye